Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk to you about replacing a battery on the Samsung Galaxy S3 Frontier watch. And I've had this watch about two years now, and the battery life used to be about two days between charges. Now we're down to a day. So I'm going to give it a go and try and replace it. And word of warning, this is something I've not done before, but I uh, thought I'd give it a go uh, for you guys that are wanting to replace your battery. And we'll see how hard it is. So I bought this off Amazon. And I'll put a link in the description below. And I have no affili affiliation with this company. Um, the part number's there on the back, but as I say, I shall put a link in the description below. And we'll give it a go, see how we get on. So let's jump into it. So I believe this actually comes as a kit. So we've got some sort of tool I'm assuming this is for porting the back off of the uh, the actual watch and breaking the seal a Phillips a small Phillips screwdriver and a tri blade screwdriver what else have we got some sort of Pry, plastic pry tool, some more prying equipment, and whatever this is in this box, assumably this is the battery itself. Fantastic. So, I'm not sure if you can see that. Just so you've got a part number of the battery. I'll try and focus on that for you. Again, I shall put the part number if there is a part number on this battery uh, can't actually see it but uh, if there is I shall put a part number also in the description below so let's give it a go hopefully this will turn out all right Oh, my, my watch has already gone flat as it happened, so, okay. I'm just going to remove the strap. Not to lose the pins, but put the pins over there. So here we have the watch and to get the back off it just looks like there's this tri-blade screws here four of in fact let's just have a look at the instructions yeah so it's asking me to remove the four screws on the back so let's do that Next it says, take the metal opening tool and place between the frame and the back. Yep. 
remove the connectors. Yeah. Yeah. The third one. There. So I now should be able to believe pry up. Now we can see the battery. So I now need to undo these two screws. This one here, you can see that. So, let's try and get them focus. A screw here and a screw here. Just undo them. And this board should hopefully part with that now. There are some little clips here that seem to be clipping the motherboard down, so just just going to try and chill my pry. There we go. So there was this little ribbon cable here at the battery holding on to it. Okay, so I just need to, I believe this is now stuck on with adhesive. So 
So I just need to carefully try and peel the adhesive. Holding down the battery. There we go. Yeah, and as you can see, there's the adhesive. So we've got a charge voltage of the same 4.4 volts, three point, uh, sorry, 380 milliamp hours. Nominal voltage is 3.85 volts and 1.47 watt hours across both batteries. So they both look identical. We have there what looks like a port number, it's quite small, so I'll read it out to you. Uh, assuming that it is the part number, I've got I think 1KP62420 is very small, very hard to read. To, yeah, it's the same battery. So let's try and put this together back together in reverse order. Make some final checks. Let's put the back on. So this looks like it'll fit either way. However, there's a sensor here, look, and a little alignment here for that sensor. And there's a little viewing eye here. So which it doesn't have on the other side so just take note that it appears that it can only go one way so let's do that just clipped in screw the screws back up Try and power it back up again now. Bro, and there we go, it's starting to boot. So thanks for watching guys. Just note that uh, I just wanted to show you guys, again this is the first time I've ever done this, I'm not an expert in replacing watch batteries. But uh, I just wanted to see if it were doable and see if it were possible. Um, for those guys that are considering replacing the battery on their Samsung Galaxy Gear S3 Frontier. So on mine I've just got a couple of scratches now where I've 
struggled to part it now i'm just gonna uh try and clean that up a bit but yeah thanks for watching guys looks like we're all good peace out